Welcome back. Today we are preparing a hand sanitizer. Basically, it's a carbomer gel. A hand sanitizer is nothing but a carbomer gel. So, for the carbomer gel preparation, we need triethanolamine, that is also known as trolamine, and uh, we are using 70% ethyl alcohol. Paul, I used the measuring cylinder to measure 100 ml 70% ethyl alcohol. Also, we need a carbomer. So carbomer is basically bioadhesive material which is used in control release agent and also an emulsifying agent and also has an emulsion stabilizer or, or a rheology modifier. I hope you know what rheology is. We discussed last semester and it is also used as a stabilizing agent, suspending agent and tablet binder. Uh, coming to the triethanolamine, it's uh, basically an alkalizing agent or an emulsifying agent. Okay, let's. Um, Let's take a look at the first step. What we have to do is we I transfer this 100 ml of 70% ethyl alcohol into a, a beaker. So I'm preparing 100 ml of carbomer aqueous gel. I have a 300 ml of a beaker because I need a wide mouth because I want to save my carbomer directly into my beaker when the stir bar is rotating at high speed because. If you add carbomer directly, it is forming a lot of clumps. I have noticed it in my previous uh, test. So to avoid that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sieve directly into the beaker when my stir bar is on. So uh, this is the carbomer. So I'm going to transfer it into the sieve. What I'm going to do is I'm going to gently tap it's at a high speed again. So now I, I, I have added all the carbomer. Okay, now once I'm done mixing it, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to use this funnel to transfer all my solution back into this bottle. Okay, okay, so while pouring it back using the funnel, I'm going to use a sieve because I want a fine texture of my carbomer gel. So I'm just using the sieve, I'm using the spatula to pass all the carbomer mixture back into the bottle through this funnel. Make sure you're transferring all your carbomer back into the bottle. Alright, so now we have 100 ml of carbomer solution. The next step, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add trolamine, just three drops. Carefully use three drops. Okay, okay. one, two, and three. Okay. So close this and just shake it. Okay. Now see the magic. See? It's gel. It's gel. Can you see that? I think it's falling. It's a gel. Okay? Close it. This is nothing but just a hand sanitizer, you guys. Okay? What is the magic that happened just now is when we added the trolamine, which is a base, to the to this aqueous polymer. Okay, what happened is the polymer in the aqueous environment, this liquid turned out into a gel form is when, when the base is added to the polymer in the aqueous environment, the repulsion of negative charges along the polymer backbone gets enhanced and the osmotic pressure inside the swelling uh, polymer uh, increases and causes a formation of a three-dimensional three-dimensional structure there will be larger amounts of polymer chains that get cross-linked together after adding the neutralization agent that is basically we are adding the trolamine agent that is a neutralization agent okay so in simple let me explain to you in briefly okay so this is a basically a base so all we are trying to do is we are trying to neutralize our carbomer solution so we use the alkalizing agent and we neutralize it. So when the solution reaches the neutral pH, immediately the polymer chain gets cross-linked and it forms a three-dimensional gel structure. So that's how it is jellified.